Good day, Rusk and Enjoyers. I hope each and every single one of you is doing right out there in the world. It is the 11th of September, and I thought to myself, I should make a sequel video to this that I made earlier this year. Yep, back in May time, May 2023, I recorded this video talking about the uh, Thompson skins and how they tend to be reliable investments. I explained their usual routine, their pattern in which... Basically, they do eventually reach a very low point at some point around October, but then they rebound and go up in price ever so nicely around January time, post-Christmas time to be precise. So I thought to myself, you know what, back then, because we literally just had a CSGO major playing at the time, maybe I should make the effort to point out to people that maybe this is the best thing to consider investing into. Now, <laughs> right now, it is September time, as I've already mentioned. We're getting very close to October, but even then, most of the Ruskins that have come out recently have been going down pretty bad. If I were to show you the likes of a Rustor that happened not too long ago, you can see how pretty much all the skins are in the negative. This is not surprising. It's September. September, October, November, autumn season or fall season, depending if you're American. This is usually when we see Rust skins go down in price pretty badly, mainly due to the fact that the player counts are dropping. The kids are going back to school and college and whatnot, so less people playing equals less demand for skins equals, well, skin prices go down. It's not too hard to understand that. But, of course, usually when we see the likes of December roll in, people have more time at home. Um, you know, Christmas t uh, break happens. Uh, uh, people return to home uh, 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 you get the idea so like people don't work as much plenty more time to play rust and you see a nice increase in player count it rolls into january and that's where we tend to see ruskin prices selling in their all-time highs because there's a massive demand for all of them and of course thompson's now another thing that i always mentioned was the likes that thompson's very weirdly had very low quantities pretty much all the time it was odd but it definitely supports half the reason why they go up in price so easily around January time. Because if there's only so many of them in circulation, <laughs> they're going to get bought out of this and increase in demand for them. And what justifies their demand, and I can show you with this, so this is one of the most recent blogs that we've just had, the Airborne Update. Well, if I just scroll down over to here, we've been getting quite a lot of statistics, statistics from Face Punch. Oh, this is the one. Right. And you can see uh, the most popular weapons and the most popular guns at the moment. It goes AK, SAR, Thompson, MP5, and double barrel shotgun. So you can see the Thompson does get a lot of usage. Therefore, if we expect a lot more people to play around January time, they very likely will feel the justification to want to use the skin. And therefore, the skins do get bought. And if there's such a low quantity of them in the Steam market, they easily go up in price. Less of them in circulation equals more, th more likely to go up in price. But more specifically, the Steam market. Because very weirdly, and I will point this out again, we looked at this a good four months ago, as we've already mentioned, and quite a lot of those Thompsons were very low quantity for reasons I couldn't properly understand. But they have increased now, because people who have stopped playing Rust for the meantime, looks like they've decided to just unload their stock in the Steam market, or, you know, I'm not going to be playing Rust that much for a while, maybe I should just put my skins in the market and then buy them back again when I return to play the game in December. That potentially could be something that a lot of people do. But that was just like a bit of a like a theory. But yeah, so I can see the likes of the Panther Thompson here, the Artifact Thompson here, high quality metal Thompson. These came out this year. They only have about 50 quantity there. Now, on average, every Rust skin by default on the Steam market would have about 100 quantity. If it's less, it's below average. If it's more, it's above average. And that's not exactly good. It's harder for a skin to sell for a good price if there's so many of them on the Steam market. Whereas if there's hardly any of them on the Steam market... If there's an increase in demand for it, it could easily shoot back up in price. And as you can see here, the likes of this Panther Thompson, there is no resistance. There is no big fat quantities. If just about 20 people wanted these, suddenly it shoots back up to $2 plus. So yeah, potentially this could be one of the skins that magically goes all the way up to about almost $10, like some of the Thompsons last year. So I'm not saying it will. I'm just saying that's potentially something that could happen. But if we move over to here, next page, Tier 3 Thompson, Luna Thompson, they've been getting more quantity. And as I said, there's a very decent chance people have been unloading their stock. Also, please be aware that a lot of people have been spending a lot of money. As you can see here, my main account doesn't have that much. <laughs> it, 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 a lot less than what I'd like it to be. But yeah, people are getting a little bit scared. They're worried that they're going to lose all their uh, values on their skins. They're going to lose all their money, their Steam wallet. So 
quite a lot of the likes of the Thompsons have been unloaded onto the Steam market, and people like me have been buying chunks of them because we still had borders down. It's not too hard to understand. Even a Thompsonana here, about 83 quantity, and then it takes until the third page where we start to see some Thompson skins having over 100 quantity. But yeah, yeah, there's a lot more quantities now, or there's a lot more higher quantities now compared to four months ago. But what's it going to look like four months later from now? Sorry, I'll, re I'll say that again. What's it going to look like in, based on all the quantities when we look at this again in four months' time, when it's January time? Do you reckon a lot of these are going to have much lower quantities and much higher prices because of that? That is the expectation. But will it happen? Because what we should also point out, if we look at this Rustor again and look at all the Thompsons that come out this year, when you uh, look at the Thompsons that have been accepted this year, it's more than last year. And also, we should also point out, if we just quickly go over to here, we've had more uh, Twitch drops. So, uh, where is it? Twitch Rivals Thompson, JL Tommy and Crowley Thompson, and Augusta Bell Thompson. Yeah, these were given away for free. Uh, 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 yeah, in May time and in June time. So, some people probably didn't feel the need to buy any Thompsons. Yet, even then, we've got more Thompsons accepted uh, this year compared to the previous year. But when you look at the likes of 2021, well, that had, that had 13. <laughs> anyway, 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 the big worry is if you see too much of an item get far too many skins being accepted, you could end up like the AK-47. Now, when you look at all the AKs that have come out so far this year, you might notice there's a bit of a problem. The vast majority of them are in the negative, and that shouldn't be too surprising, because we have far too many AK-47 skins. <laughs> there's too many options. There's too, mu there's too much to uh, compare to, and that's why the vast majority of these AKs end up becoming quite cheap, because people probably would rather have that AK or this AK or whatnot. And, uh, yeah. Plus, there's also the fact of there's always another AK. <laughs> Every week, we tend to see another AK and another AK and another AK. And people aren't loyal to their AKs. They always ditch the old one, grab the new one. But there's always a new one, so... Yeah. So, we're, not, we're, we're nowhere anywhere bad like with the likes of the AKs. But Thompsons, if we do keep seeing more and more and more and more and more, perhaps the newer ones are going to struggle more, potentially. So... This is where I was like, you know what, maybe I should record an update video just to showcase what the Thompsons are currently looking like. So I must reiterate, it's September, this is the bad times, and you might notice Panther Thompson down 36%, uh, Thompson down 26%, Artifact Thompson down 23%, Tier 3 down 32%, Luna Thompson down 35%, Wasteland Thompson down 34%, Recycle, oh well that's last year, but um, I made quite a big fuss earlier this year saying that most of the time, Thompsons rarely go down more than 20%. Quite As you can see right now, some of them are like almost 35%. I mean, that one is, that one's negative 35%. So, yeah, some of them have dropped pretty low. But is this likely their lowest point? Yes, this is very likely the lowest point that they're going to go. And, for example, that Luna Thompson, that sold for $2.49. That's listed at uh, $1.63 there. That's still one of the better-selling Thompsons that came out this year. All right? So just because it says down 35% doesn't necessarily mean it's cheap. And remember, when we see many more people play this game around January time, or December, January, February, yeah, we very likely will be seeing many of them being bought out. And there's only so many of them in circulation. Therefore, quite a few of them might end up getting close to about $10, exactly like we saw last year. So, yeah, what do you reckon? With prices reaching their lowest point, have you been counting all of your pennies? And are you trying to think of now, hmm, what could I potentially buy that might go up in price and become a very nice investment in the future? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Thompson's definitely could be one of those options. So this video might be giving you some ideas. But again, don't buy too many of just one. Consider, you know, diversifying and whatnot. And as I said, when loads of people return to play the game, loads of people will be using Thompson in-game because, of course, it's one of the most reliable weapons that we currently have in the game. There's going to be justification for wanting to use uh, skins on them. And therefore, that potentially might fuel it to being a very good investment. So, what are you going to do? Huh? And everything that we talked about right now probably will apply to the future as well. So you might be watching this after this video is uploaded maybe one or two years ago. Hopefully, all this information still works and it still applies. But 
remember to put the effort in to just track um, how the Thompsons from the previous year worked out and whatnot. And yeah, so this is why I thought, you know what, it's best to kind of turn this into a bit of a series and chronicle how everything turned out. So right now, main point is Thompsons appear to be at their lowest. Could they potentially go any lower? Well, Counter-Strike 2, Source 2, is expected to release soon and October's just around the corner. So maybe they might go even lower. But I'm still expecting a very, very nice rise in price when post Christmas hits. I've said that like four different times now. <laughs> but the point still remains. Low quantities easily can go up in price. Pretty much every single skin. Again, here's the artifact Thompson. This came out earlier this year. Uh, don't be shy. Show yourself. There you are. Only 50 quantity. Look at the quantities and there's next to no resistance. That could easily become a much more expensive skin. But, you know, it's a waiting game. So we still have to wait and see what happens. So it might not look super appealing right now, but maybe, just maybe, it might become a very, very nice looking skin in the future. Depends if you really want Thompsons. Hmm. Well, it still looks like people like to use their Thompsons. Right then. So I hope that was a nice sequel video to this. But it was just kind of like, a, here's the current progress. But yeah. Things should still work out quite nicely. In fact, you know what? I could probably talk about some of the Thompsons that did come out this year. So if I quickly go back over to here, we've had the likes of Redemption Thompson, right? So what's so special about this Thompson, for example? Well, it's part of a well-established and well-liked collection, that being the Redemption Collection. And this is uh, the highest selling skin compared to all of the other weapons. And if I just quickly show you how that looks, because something came out somewhat uh, recently that might be, something came out recently that might really push for people wanting to buy out full collections, and that is the gun racks. So this was introduced um, just this past week, and it's DLC. In fact, you're probably going to see it right here. Where's that gun racks, gun racks? Show me all those good pictures. Come on. We don't want to stay at this too long. Come on. We ah, there we go. Look at all of that. So weapon racks, sorry, weapon racks were introduced. They're like $10 in the Rust store. And you can put all of your weapons on display. Very nice. But if they're skinned, it might look a whole lot more appealing. So back over to here. Oh, uh, here. Yeah. The likes of the Thompson here might be getting a very nice boost because most people probably want to buy out the full set. And uh, yeah, things could work out very nicely. Plus, you know, this is a very nice looking Thompson. Mr. Solonosta did a very good job with this. So yeah, yeah, very nice, very cool. But uh, yeah, that could basically apply to any Thompson in the future if it works out very nice. I mean, I mean, Chameleon Thompson right here, that is looking to become a full-fledged collection, Chameleon collection. Uh, we randomly got this uh, Thompson being accepted in Most Wanted. We recently had the AK accepted. We've just seen the MP5 getting a version 2, and that will very likely be accepted as well. And I would be surprised if the LR300 has a version 2 being uh, uploaded at some point over the course of the next 12 hours, maybe, because I am keeping check of all the newest Rust Workshop skin submissions. <laughs> oh, I love a little hamster every now and then. So, yeah. Um... How might things turn out in the future? We shall see, but that's a nice little snapshot of all the Thompson skins at the moment. Maybe, just maybe, things might work out a whole lot better around mid-January. So that'll be in another four months' time, and I've already pointed out, do you reckon you might want to jump in and invest into them? The choice is yours, so... I've said all that I needed to say. I've mentioned post-Christmas like five different times, and I just did it again. So what are you going to do? Are you going to jump in? we shall see so thank you very much for watching i greatly appreciate it. i hope you all enjoyed it yourself and uh i should point out this will be in the uh useful rust skin investing videos playlist so if you want to learn more about useful nuggets of information and whatnot in regards to rust skin investing please consider looking at my helpful rust skin investing videos every single video should teach you something new so yeah consider giving that a good look and with that thank you very much for watching and i'll see you later bye